go on for a walk in the middle of the video, you know, because it's really nice out because I just saw it snowing outside. And I was like, I need to take this opportunity to go for a walk. It's really beautiful. There's like great moments where I just like to just enjoy it. Enjoy the snow. It's really nice, really beautiful. It's nice and quiet, very peaceful. Really love it. How are we doing guys? I hope everyone's having a blessed day. I hope everyone's enjoying their day and I wish love for every single one of you. Um, today's video is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be more on an update on uh, past week. I just had meniscus surgery on February 8th and it's been a week since my, um, since my surgery. So today's video is gonna be more like an update on how things are going, how I'm doing mentally and how I'm doing physically as well. So I'm really excited to talk to you guys about this as well. So let's get right on to the video. I got that kind of If you're new to my channel, my name is Swift RT, and what I'm talking about is my recent meniscus surgery operation. Um, what I had was I got a meniscectomy. So a meniscectomy is when you get when when they cut off a torn piece of your meniscus. I had a horizontal meniscal tear due to a lot of running, and the problem is that I didn't have I didn't really take care of my body as much. I was always constantly on the move. I was also eating on the go and not sleeping enough too. I was only sleeping like usually around four to five hours. And that caused me, my body to like place, play, I place a lot of stress on my body and it caused me to tear my, tear my meniscus. I started, every time I started bending, it wasn't, it was very uncomfortable. So this is just mostly like an update how I'm doing mentally and physically. It's, it's just, this is one week after post-operation. This is mostly like a video for me to just go and just talk to you guys of, Talk to you guys of how just how I'm doing, guys. Um, the recovery has been doing really well. I'm very excited. Um, after three days after operation, I started doing physical therapy, and they gave me six exercises to do. First one was ankle supine pumps, where I'm just where I'm just basically just pumping my ankles back and forth. I'm laying on the floor. And I'm just pumping my pumping my ankles forward and backward, holding it for a second, and then when I when I decrease it down, just holding that for two seconds. And I had to do three three by ten for that four times a day. Number two was the long sitting quad set. So what you're doing is that you're just sitting on the ground and you're just literally just squeezing your legs. You're flexing it as, as hard as you can and you're holding that for 10 seconds. And I had to do one, I had to do one set of 10 reps and I had to do that three times a day. Number three, sit and heel slide with a towel. So this one, you're just taking a towel and you're putting it over, over your foot and you're just literally slide gliding it up to, so you can be able to bend your knee. And this is really helpful for flexibility because when I, after the day right after surgery, I was it was hard for me to flex my knee as much and bend it. But now I'm able to bend my knee a lot more, and I really I really love doing this exercise. And for this exercise, I had to do it one, one set one by three, so one set, and that would do three repetitions. And I, for each repetition, I had to hold it for 30 seconds. Um, it's a very good exercise. Number four, active straight leg raise with a quad set. You're basically on the floor, opposite leg bent, and you're just raising your leg up and down. So you're just holding, when you bring it up, you, you flex it, holding it for two seconds, and you bring it right back down. I, I had to do it three sets of 10 repetitions, and I had to do that two times a day. Five, sideline hip abduction. So it's mostly like um, self-explanatory. You're just sitting on the side, and you're just lifting your leg, li lifting your leg laterally, just abducting it. Um, and I had to do three set, three by three by 10 for that as well. Number six is supine knee extension with a towel. So this one, I had to do this only two times a day and it was only one set of, of five minutes. So you can use a towel or a pillow. I used a pillow, I used a pillow for mine where you just basically put your foot on top, on, on top, of, a, on top of a pillow and you're just holding on that position for five minutes. I have to do these exercises every single day. And over time, I started walking a lot better. I'm starting to get feel like I'm able to move more. I'm able to go up the stairs now. Um, it's like I'm making a very quick recovery because I know my my operation was very minor, but you know, it's like really great that I'm seeing like results really quickly because I'm able to like move around. Those are the exercises that they gave me. I'm actually going, actually right now today is, 
today is it's Monday right now. It's February 18th. I'm actually going to see my doctor today at 3:30. So he's going to give me more exercises to do, and I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to upload like another video and give you guys like a second update of the exercises, the the more like more advanced exercises that they're going to give, they're going to make me do. But as for my mental side, guys, I feel more motivated than ever. Decided to go on for a walk in the middle of the video, you know. Cause it's really nice out because I just saw it snowing outside and I was like, I need to take this opportunity to go for a walk. It's really beautiful. There's like great moments where I just like to just enjoy it. Enjoy the snow. It's really nice, it's really beautiful. It's nice and quiet, very peaceful. Really love it. And especially on these walks. Man, I want to run. Guys, like taking a break from exercising has allowed me to focus on other things. I always used to be so focused on um, always being on the go, always saying that I need to get my workout in before I start my day. Like telling myself that I like getting getting my exercise in is gonna make me feel like I got I, I achieved something. You know, getting something done. But it like this injury is allowing me to like realize that it's it's time to it's it's okay for me to take a break. You know. I've watched so many motivational videos where they pay, they tell you that you have to constantly keep grinding. You have to constantly keep being mentally tough to even through pain, like always, like even when you're injured, you can find a way to get some type of fitness in, even though that is true for me. But, you know, I just want to take, just take a step back. I just want to hold down the blank, just put the brakes on for a minute and just like reevaluate what, what I, what I want in life, reevaluate, like where I want my fitness goals to be, where I want to like, what my times are, like what I want to run. Um, there's so much I have like planned right now. There's like, there's so many like half marathons and marathons that I want to like potentially do, but I'm just like playing them out, like looking in, like trying to create like a schedule for myself to see when I'm able to run these races. Um, but it's just like, it's okay. For, it's like, it's okay to like take a mental break from exercising just to like just to take a step back and just see just, just just to see how things are it like me just sitting around all day is like it it gets really aggravate it's very aggravating for me because that's what i've been doing for the past week i've just been sitting on my couch and i've mostly been also been going on walks outside too but it's like i always my mind is constantly always telling me that i have to do something i have to get something done um I have to like do something physical, something like some actual physical fitness or something to get my body going. I have to do it. And my mind is like telling me that it's always making me worry about like how my fitness is gonna be right now because I'm taking a break. I'm taking like some weeks off from like from from running, from just exercising in general, just to focus on other things, to focus on my YouTube channel, to focus on my other job as well, to just folks spend more to spend more time with my family and my friends just as like spend more to just, just focus on other things in general i feel like it's okay to it's, it's like for me i've been so used to just constantly be on the move and it, i feel like it's time it's time for me to like just take a little break for a minute just to like just reevaluate things just like let my body recover sorry if i'm like going on like long at long tangents right now mine is always my mind is always reminding like i said before my mind is always reminding me to move and um to take action to do something and i don't know why but it does that so now i've been mostly just i have to keep constantly reminding myself that things are going to be okay that things are going to things are going to be well you know that it's okay to take a break it's okay to rest your body josh it's okay to do that um and it's it's not easy for me right now to do that because i i start getting really jittery after like 30 minutes of just sitting and i need to like go go move go do something you know um because not me not working out I have all this extra energy and i want to just like give it out like just do something with that, would do something with that energy, but I can't, you know, because I want to focus on my recovery. Um, and this is like more like a mental, like a me like a mental training for me to like, just like make me tell, like make me remind myself that I need to take care of myself. I need to take care of my mental health as well. Just letting me just like realize that, Josh, 
you need to pull you need to take the you need to pull out the brakes a little bit. You need to relax, you need to reevaluate things, you know. You got time. It's okay, Josh. You're only 23 years old. You got a lot of time. Trust me, you got a lot of time to think about things. And I just have to like repeat, I have to like tell myself that at least 30 times a day. And guys, it's like a ment it's like a mental prep. Like you have to keep I have to keep mentally prepping myself constantly over and over again. Cause it's not easy. But the more repetitions you get, the better you're gonna get at it. So and right now, after a week, I've been doing really good at it. You know, I'm really, I'm really, I feel like more motivated than ever. I'm just constantly just trying to be a, be a better me, you know, having self-acceptance, accepting me for who I am and always trying to challenge myself and get, and get uncomfortable, you know, like, especially like talking about talk, saying, saying, talking to you guys in this video is like, it's very, it's very uncomfortable for me because I don't like talking about stuff like this, but you know, I want you guys, I want you guys to join me in my journey in my recovery process. And I also want you guys to join me in my journey as well when I plan my races and also show you guys my workouts and what I do, you know, because you guys are like always like the light of my day. You guys, I love talking to you guys a lot as well. It's like very relaxing when I talk, when I talk in front, like talk to, when I talk on a camera because these are my thoughts. This is how I actually feel, you know? And it's a good, it's like, it's also, this is like a good stress reliever for me as well when I talk to you guys about this. Um, so it's, 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 it's like a long, it's like a long, it's like, it's going to be a long process because I'm, because right now what I'm thinking in my mind is, is that it, it keeps telling me that Josh, you're not fit. You're not fit right now. You're not fit. Like you're very unfit. And I have to accept that I am not fit right now, but I know everything's going to be okay. I actually do, you know? I love myself. I love my body. I know that that right now I'm taking a break. My body's trying to break out. Of, I'm trying. I'm. I'm literally trying to break out of my mental habit of me just like constantly getting up and not like just trying to do something and not focusing on my injury and just letting it recover properly. Um, it's it's a it's like a constant grind for me. It's like a mental battle that I'm always having in my head right now. But but I know everything's gonna be okay. I absolutely believe that. I'm gonna be okay. I'm really excited about doing this journey with you guys as well. And always constantly updating you guys about, about what my surgery is, how my injury is doing right now. So I love making videos for you guys because I want you guys to see my journey. And maybe one day you guys might be inspired by my videos or get inspired by like my journeys and the obstacles that I have to face or like will face soon, but how I jump over them hard, jump over those hurdles. And the people that subscribe to my channel too, I love you guys so much as well. Like you guys are like, you guys are still like the same. You guys are the reason why I just keep making videos because like it feels, if I, I feel so like, I, I don't know. I don't want to say like I feel special, but you know, I feel like my words are like reaching out to you guys and you guys are like actually taking the time to listen and watch my videos and I really appreciate that so much. Um, like I said again before, I know I'm going to be back be better than ever. I'm also um, going to like schedule some, I'm also like thinking about like scheduling some races as well. I don't have the plan yet, but I have like a couple of races that I'm thinking about doing once I'm recovered and also I have to like do like a lot of strength training. Like I have to like, my, I have to do my PT. And I have to do a lot of strength training to get my like get my legs strong again, and also just like to show you guys my workouts when I'm like prepping for my races. So I'm excited to like show that show you guys that, and I'm planning that as well. But everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Um, oh, it's just same. It's just always a constant grind. I'm I'm mentally I'm mentally strong. I'm really motivated. You know, I'm very like I'm very like excited to like just to just keep uploading you guys, uploading videos for you guys. It's, I'm just, I'm just like very excited. I'm very happy right now. I'm just trying to find the words to what to say, but you know, I'm just, I'm just very excited. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited right now. Like, look at me, like, I, I'm just like moving all over the place, but yeah, but I'm just, I'm just very happy. I'm able to like share this with you guys. Guys, that's it for the video. I don't, I don't want to keep going on tangents and keep on just like running this video on because I don't want to just make, give like a 30 minute video or something. But if you guys like this video, smash that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click that notification if you guys want to know when I upload my next video. All right, guys. It was nice talking to you. I hope you guys all have a blessed day. I love each and every single one of you. And I'm out. All right, I'll see you guys later.